number one of our second semifinal is up on the mark. Immortals versus Dark Power. The winner of this series will face Allegiance in the finals. And will it be Immortals once again in our tried and true battle for North America, or will Dark Power come in with the upset? They want to crown themselves champion here in NA, but they have a tough opponent to go through. It is going to be Immortals, and already we see the invades beginning. Yeah, look at this. Who's going to get this? Whoever secures this red is going to win this fight here. This is a very critical part of the early game phase. And look at that. It gets taken by Hoo Hoo. Hoo Hoo's going to grab that there, and that is actually could potentially spell the end of Bobo. I know he's going to flicker over the wall, but they're going to find and follow this. They want this. That is actually going to be the kill, committing so many resources to that. But at this stage in the game, totes worth. Yeah, that that play there, that, it was down to the punish. And again, like I said, dark power mechanics are just on point. This team grinds and they play really late at night. They're constantly perfecting their mechanics and that's where they really shine. However, the teamwork, the mid game and late game is what I'm gonna really watch here to see if they can pull through and beat a team as good as Immortals. Again, we said this before, but I'm, I'm gonna really harp on this point. Dark Power is improving a lot. They are a team that is only getting better week after week here. They've stumbled a little bit, but overall the general trend, especially they've made a little bit of roster changes, they've, they've switched things up a little bit, and they're doing work here going in, actually almost finding the beginning there. Neo on this Alice doing so much work here, and that, that's really who I'm gonna be watching for as well, it, being a contender for one of those top NA supports. Yeah, and look at Dave here, being able to push 80s here out of the way, and then down, now they're rotating to jungle, and they're being a little aggressive here, However, the trap is missed. It gets dodged, and then look at that. Omen comes in there and gets a kill, potentially on Baker. Can he get it? No, not, not close enough. Omen also almost taking down his namesake there, but it is now 80s Heroes, who is now yeah, very far out here in the mid. Going to be able to get out all right. Beginnings barely surviving there as well. And so far, it is dark power. We talk about their early game, and they are showing it here. Yeah, I mean, look at this. 3.8 to 5.1K. That is significant lead already. And it's already two minutes, and they're going to start to rush the dragon here. But does Immortals know that? And if they get this Abyssal Dragon, that's going to put them in even a bigger lead. So right now, dark power is looking really solid. They're coming out of the gate swinging right now. Dark Power looking so good here in this early game. Their counter rotations are uh, just, you know, getting uh, div paying dividends, I should say. They're getting rewards from in the early game right now. The Spirit's Sentinel going to look to go over the way of Immortals here as they're pressuring in this top side of the map, not wanting to allow Omen to feel comfortable here in this position, just trying to find whatever value they can on the map. But again, it comes down to this mid lane. I constantly see Dave shoving this in, and it's constantly something that Immortals is forced to deal and respond with. However, KZ Fox is going to need to respond with four people Jumping on his face. Yeah, that was a nice burst there from Tuning, hitting both members and getting them pretty low. And if you look at it, they're going to be rotating their jungle. And in the next play here, they're going to have a key rotation that Immortals needs to be careful of because Dark Power is the team now in the position to play much more aggressive because they are in the lead here. They can play aggressive because they know they're in the lead. They got the first dragon. They got the first kill. And now they just need to punish it abuse it and take the first objective get ahead get farther ahead get farther ahead get farther ahead do not look back use the lead you are building to further it here in the situation use the item items that you have at your disposal to, and we're seeing it right here once again there's the hissy fit the follow up the flick up oh, doesn't even matter that is a beautiful setup and a beautiful takedown there in the bottom lane and that could possibly be the tower as well but there are no minions to follow up here 41 seconds on the next Abyssal Dragon, and we do have Immortals on the back step to start this game at number one. Down two kills, down 2k gold, and they need to make something happen here, or Dark Power might run away with it. Yeah, I mean, this is not looking good so far. The, the nice rotations by Dark Power getting these ganks, and they're gonna get the first tower there, and this is the power of Violet. When Violet gets ahead, they're gonna be able to rain damage on these towers, and Violet arguably is a better late game here. And look at this gank here. Omen is just playing so safe, though. He just knows they wanna come up, and look, they're gonna go for the tower, and potentially try to kill him here and get this tower and get a trade. A very nice play by Immortals. x -tiers. Oh, oh, barely surviving in that situation. Nicely done. But all the while, Dark Power getting a tower and Bach getting a tower in mid here. So they're going to get decent value here as well. Immortals. Oh, an additional kill. That was huge. Dark Power is going positive on this trade. The Dragon is respawning. They're going to be positioned to get that as well. Violet's pushing down the tower in mid. The top one is going to finally fall for the side of Immortals. But look at the value Dark Power is getting across the battlefield right now. One more auto. Wow. Everything coming up. Dark Power. They're only continuing to further their lead. Sui Jade, this is everything they need to be doing. Yeah, that was such a good trade. Again, they're they're making good decisions. Top tower, one tower, but guess what? We got two of your mid towers and we got the dragon side. And now 
Dragon lane is completely open. You cannot contest Dragon or even that side of the jungle anymore. With two mid towers gone and bottom tower, that opens up the map completely for Dark the Power to just take control. I mean, if you want to talk about the value, you know, of the ADCs in this matchup, we talk about Violet, we talk about Lindis. So far, it has felt like Huhu has had way more of an impact on this game. Casey Fox is going in trying to get some fighting going on, but he just, he's just not hitting nearly as hard. Look at how much damage Huhu's able to do here. Casey Fox kind of feels like a, a bit of a non-factor. Yeah, he needs to scale up. He, he Look at his damage items. He doesn't have that much damage. He has Scorching Wind, but Violet already has a Soul Reaver and three swords. That adds so much base attacks power to her burst. And Neo could potentially get locked up, but wow, that dodge of the Earth Spitter. Beautiful play by Neo there. Yeah, nicely done to dodge there. And they hit the Bryce's submission going in. The heal is forced to be popped here. His beginnings and crew are trying to back out. We do have the Zenial, though, to help out this push as they are going in, but surviving is Immortals not going to be going down there, not giving up any silly deaths. This is exactly what they need to be doing because the Dark Slayer is spawning. Yeah, look at this. Look at the damage coming down. They are going to get this top tower, putting so much pressure. And look at Dave going there, doing so much damage on Casey Fox. However, he has to back off because he's just trading back. Yeah, they are, but here we go. We have Bobo in the back line deciding it is the time to go. Immortals is there, but a nice easy fit to try and split the fight as best they can. As Casey Fox is already solo to start this fight out, though. Dark Power is going to retreat beautifully. Bobo not able to find the big knock we were looking for. He's kind of in the back, and a beautiful split from Dark Power negated a lot of that value. Yeah, both teams did such a good job juggling aggro and disengaging, but look at Omen. He steals the red. I mean, this team is it's a Xenio against an Omen as well. Omen counters the Xenio usually, and you can see their Dark Power, what they do well is they're cutting the fight. They're juggling aggro. They're not going in too deep. One person's poking, then they back up, and the team supports them, and then they move as a unit. So their team fighting has actually improved significantly from what I've seen them in the past three weeks. Clearly, in this Omen v. Omen matchup, it is Omen that comes out on top here in the bottom lane. And we have uh, the Dragon now spawning, and we have the Abyssal Dragon going to be going over the way of Dark Power. And uh, that is further in the lead. Three dragons to none? That is solid. Yeah, this is not looking good for Immortals. I mean, that's look at the 18.5k. And look at the damage on KZ Fox. That burst damage from Violet. He has to back off and leave his team to then fall. And then Xenio comes in with the Angelic Spider. He heals the Malik with a great stun. But however, that's not going to be enough. He gets out of position and will fall here against Dark Power. A great stun, but no damage to follow up because they've all been forced back. This is just the damage that Hoo Hoo is bringing to the table. It is so impressive. Immortals is starting every fight at half health because the positioning of Hoo Hoo able to get so much of that splash damage every single time. He's using that primary ability. It's craziness. Yeah, definitely. And look at it. They just secured the Dark Slayer. Doing such a good job here. Now they need to push, organize the waves, and make sure that they don't give any deaths over so they don't throw away this Dark Slayer. They have one minute and 30 seconds to take advantage of Dark Slayer. It's a 30% damage amp to all the entire team on Dark Power. So if they push this properly, get some key kills on Immortals, they can secure the game. They can indeed. Immortals on the back step, uncharacteristic here in the semi-finals. And it is now Dark Power looking to push in here, but the entire side of Immortals has joined the fray. Great hissy fit going out onto x tiers. But we're going to see the Earth Splitter knocking it too. Omen is there in the back, getting caught up, but a nice Malice is trying to escape. And look at the slows. The healer going to be coming in there as well. Neo is trying to get him out of there, but I think that is going to be the kill. Yes, onto Omen. Finally, Immortals finding some ground to stand on here, but it is possible Dark Power might look to invade. Suiji, they're looking for more. Yeah, that was a mistake by Omen getting out of position there. And good job by Omen. Omen getting the dark, the death embrace onto the Xeno so he cannot get out of that circle. He was locked in and forced to engage and fight, and it was an uneven trade. That's exactly what they need here because Dark Slayer is a huge damage buff, and with it being a 5v4 now, they have a much better chance at defending the tower and defending their lanes. This is going to be big now. I mean, Dark Power, they're still so far ahead, but Immortals showing they can do something here. However, this is all Dark Power. And of course, you got to love having uh, the Omen v. Omen in terms of the guy named Omen versus the hero named Omen and all that good <laughs> stuff. So, of course, that is going to be confusing all game long as we have Dark Power rotating here to the Slayer side of the map. Going to be putting this pressure on, and of course, they can split push all the while because Angelic Splendor will always be a factor in these fights. Watch for the Xenio coming in cross-map, forcing these rotations 
situation is. Look at the crash right now, the timing coming in the mid as well as the Slayer side. Look at the damage going under this high ground tower. Yeah, it was good for it. Bobo comes in with an engage, and are you going to execute a kill? They have to just focus on cleaning wave. Nice, big Earth spare, but look at the damage coming off from Violet. Just deleting L'Oreal off the map immediately. The timing there, the follow-up off the back of that. Absolutely huge. The Endure is there, but the timing from Neo on that Sunshine, and it is Bobo more like, oh, no, you are out of position, friend. Oh, no, that was not where they wanted to be. They are pushing it onto the core right now. They have the minions, and I think this is going to be it. I think game number one is going to go the way of Dark Power. The underdogs here in the semifinals, they are going to take game number one.